Hi, this is Brent's Pot Hour, and uh, I was thinking about what what basically is my goal for doing this because that's another reason why I'm having. I mean, I'm having questions. I question myself about what what the motive is for me even coming online and talking to people and stuff because I believe that I have a message for people. I actually believe I'm going to be the Messiah someday, but uh, which which is complete blasphemy really but not really if I really am I think God <laughs> I think God would like me to be because I don't believe the Messiah has come but um I'm, I'm gonna do this real quick uh, I just have to grab a spoon here's a spoon and um, I wanted to do this real quick just to stay on track. Here's baking soda. See baking soda? At least half a teaspoon. That's like more than half, but a little more won't hurt. So this is baking soda. That's what I put in. It hasn't gotten a crusty top. Maybe God, maybe God is is stopping it from getting a crusty top. Uh, uh, here's my 7-Eleven water with the 9.5. I know that was hard to see. See the 9.5? <laughs> see that? That's the alkaline. How? acidic it is anything over seven means it's alkaline it's not acidic anything over seven like half full I'm just gonna drink this love water Water's good for you. Stir this up. While I'm stirring this up, Rosarita, refried, <laughs> refried beans. Rosarita. And, uh, ah. I'm not positive that, that everything I got, this comes from the stash box. This comes from the stash box. So the stash box. And I mean, I'm kind of holding out, but I have a joint left, but it's, well, no, I have a whole joint left. I have a whole joint left. Yeah, I have a whole joint left. I'm acting like I'm all fucking, I have one joint left. Here, listen. That's odd. Oh. <laughs> what? I had to break the seal. I didn't see it. See the seal? do it once I won't irritate anyone on this broadcast I know I've done that before just joking okay wait before I start smoking this I'm gonna drink this this is baking soda and water half a teaspoon it's good for you I've drank a couple of them three of them See, it gets, every time you do it, I mean, it, it it affects you less and less. It affects you more sometimes, but but it affects you less and less and less. Every time you do it, you know, every time you drink. 
also, I just, I mean, and it's, I, I think it, it, it might remove AIDS. There's a good chance it removes AIDS. Um, and I'll be honest, but AIDS is a specific, it's, it's targeted at black people. <laughs> I would recommend that black people drink baking soda at least half a teaspoon a day for like a couple weeks because AIDS is targeted at black people and because black people have a certain the 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 shape of your your blood inside your you have a hook on your blood that's running through your veins there's a hook on your blood and AIDS attaches to that and and they know that I mean they gave it to they gave it to gay black men and people in Africa that's who they gave it to Merck Merck infected gay black men in in New York and people in Africa that's who Merck infected it was specifically targeted at black people <laughs> you want to cure yourselves of AIDS start drinking baking soda I'm serious I believe it. I mean, I was watching this whole chemical thing about it. And cancer too, possibly. Because cancer has a, like a hook. Or just the chemical makeup of it or something destroys it. I don't remember exactly. <clears throat> um, yeah, I just smoked this, take a couple hits off this. Okay, Brent Spot Hour. This is, uh... Shit, I can't read that. I don't even know which way's up. See that? Can you see that? I mean, it's freaking small. Okay. <clears throat> well, it's called, uh... I don't know, it's a sativa. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. But the writing is getting so small. I don't know. But, um, I mean, I don't know even what the THC level is of it. I can't see shit. I don't even know which way is up. Huh. <clears throat> well, that's, I need to get a magnifying glass. It might be getting old. Told you not to hold the smoke, and I hold the smoke. It's habitual. Don't hold the smoke. If you don't hold the smoke yet, right now, don't start holding the smoke. It, it won't make you higher. I never thought it would make you higher. I just thought, you know, that smoke goes down there. It's mixing in your lungs. If it's going to stick to your lungs, it's sticking as soon as it goes down there. It's not like waiting around like, oh, I think after like five seconds I'll stick to your lungs. Now, as soon as you send it down there, it's like, I'm gonna stick to your lungs, or I'm, you know, I'm not. What am I doing? Right? You're like, you're like, you fucking know every fucking hit. You're not supposed to hold it. <laughs> I mean, if you believe the things that you're saying, why the fuck are you holding your hits? 
Because I'm a hypocrite. Hypocrite! Who sings that? Corn. <laughs> well, I just wanted to get back on here because I feel like, oh. Uh, I mean, it, it's like Bill Gates is against us. Bill Clinton is against us. I mean, Hillary Clinton is against us. Is Trump against us? You know, wouldn't you like to know if Trump is against us? Huh? Huh? Because it's like he's doing stuff that makes it seem like he is against us. <coughs> like not putting Hillary in jail. You're thinking, man. <coughs> Sounds like <coughs> your lungs are full. They are, but <coughs> I mean, I, I'm not spitting black stuff up. My my spit is totally clear. So. I think it's just pot, you know, affecting my lungs. I gotta open this. Guinness. Here's my coffee. The Point Casino and Hotel in Kingston, Washington. The Point. Go to the Point. I'm not gonna open this. I don't feel like drinking for some reason. But, uh. Yeah, you're like, oh, what? Oh, I was gonna tell you though, um, when I make juice, this isn't juice. You see this? This isn't juice. This is just the water after I'm done preparing it. This is what it will look like. I mean, and it's full of herbs and spices and everything that's good for you, right? I mean, make everything that you do good for you, you know? A add spices to the things that you do all the time. So then they're not just habits anymore. Then you're adding good stuff, right? If you smoke cigarettes all the time, I mean, I do that. I smoke cigarettes all the time, but um, see this? Well, you can see what the cigarette are. You see that filter? Look at that. That's tar. That shit is tar. If you smoke, do you want that shit in your lungs? <laughs> Seriously. That's some fucked up shit, and that's like three cigarettes. 
that would be like three cigarettes worth. Two or three cigarettes worth. You want that in your lungs? Fuck that. Put these on. There. These. Or Nikno. Or. I mean, they've been called a whole bunch of things since I started buying them, but. You know, just do shit. Do shit that affects your life positively. Because everybody can tell you what's happening in the world and everything like that, but they're not helping you. They're not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what to do. These are the things that you need to do. If you want to get the radiation out of your body and everything like that, because it's all over in the air. I mean, we can't see it and it's like, oh, only crazy would people believe, would believe in something that they can't even see, but I, I, all the fish are dead. See, that's the problem. Because all the fish are dead. So, Fukushima must have blown up. And it must be in the air. Because all the fish are dead. And all the animals are dying. And all the insects are dying. You know all the insects are dying. I mean, all you have to do is walk outside. All you have to do is look at the front of your car. Look at the front of your car. You don't see any dead insects anymore. And when I was a kid, I mean, w one day, just driving one day, the whole front of your car could be covered in dead insects in just one day. I mean, it was... I used to drive a semi-truck too. And there's, there's, there's places I, you could drive that was just swarms of bugs. I mean, I don't know exactly what kind of bugs they were, but there was just swarms of them. Um, it seemed like moss. There was a lot more moss than I thought there was, but, um, so I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to give you, like, pot, I think, is a medicinal thing. I think, I think pot is a medicinal thing that will help get cancer out of your blood. Seriously, all these little cures, baking soda is, is a cure to get cancer out of your blood. I mean, all the spices and everything like that probably are they're going to give you vitamins and minerals anyways then so they're just good for you but they'll also assist getting other things out of your body you know that that you don't want and um we can beat this i think we can win if we try i mean if we all pull together i mean if we're all on each other's side you know if we all just it can't be that difficult for, I mean, all of us Americans are in the same spot, you know, it's not like, the, peop the people that are in on the plan are the only ones in on the plan, right? I mean, anybody that's not in on the plan is one of us, right? But then I don't know, because it seems like there's different conspiracies happening in my life. I mean, almost in every facet of my life, it seems like there's a conspiracy. I mean, my aunt and uncle killed my cousin and turned it into a conspiracy. So, and that implicated the whole Neslin family, at least and other parts of the family that I can't name. Huh. I've made a lot of conspiracies though, so... kind of intentionally, because I want to... I don't know. I, I didn't want to do anything, I just... I wanted to keep things from happening. I've tried to stop things. A lot of times. I mean, I committed suicide because I didn't even want to be a part of it. 
I said this a long time ago. It's all just a fucking game. Seriously, that's what I think. It's just a game. It's all just a game. And well, I mean, but you're thinking, you're thinking, oh, it's like basketball or something like that. No, it, this is, this is a lot more intellectual. It's, 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 it's actually the deepest intellectual subject that you could really even talk about or anything like that. Because the different facets of it are just, I mean, mind blowing. It's not, when I'm saying it's a game, it's, it, it, it's like chess. Well, I mean, it's like, it's like a very complicated chess. It's a complicated. And Lisa Haven. I want I wanted to promote Lisa Haven. And I think Lisa Haven is um in, intellectually correct most of the time. I I think she's um very intuitive and intelligent and she makes a lot of good points I won't say that I have agreed with everything that she said but I do think that she uh, promotes a lot of thought about subjects and stuff like that and, and she throws out a lot of good ideas about possible explanations and I, I think Lisa Haven is, is it's Lisa Haven news on YouTube um, yeah she puts out a lot of videos she's really good to watch she's informative And I don't know if she's a part of the conspiracy or not. I don't know if anybody's a part of the conspiracy or not. I know I'm not, but then you might think that I am. I mean, it's up to you, but because I think different than everybody. I mean, I, I don't believe in Jesus. I don't worship Muhammad. I don't worship any of those people. They're just men, Buddha. Jim Jones, Jim Baker. I mean, seriously, what? How low are? We, how low do we have to go? Um, to worship men. We're worshiping men. You get that, right? You understand? We're worshiping men. Are people? It's men, but they're just humans. You're worshiping the creation, not the creator. Do you get it? I'm serious. You Christians and you Muslims are fucking stupid. Both of you. Both of you are just fucking dumb. You're worshiping the creation, not the creator. Why don't Christians... I, I don't whole, know a whole lot about the Muslims, but I... I think you're just as stupid as Christians, though, because, I mean, why don't Christians worship Moses? Moses did miraculous things. Moses talked to God. I mean, uh, God saved Moses when he was a child and an old man, even though he kept Moses out of the promised land. But, I mean, God didn't technically do it. Moses did because he struck the rock. I mean, gotta be careful. I know I stir my coffee a lot. <laughs> what I add settles, I think, kind of fast. Because it seems like if I don't stir it a lot, then it, it's all in the bottom when I, when I, you know? If I don't stir it a lot. Okay, well, I just wanted to make uh, another video to show them back and to show you why I'm making videos because everybody else is telling you what's happening. I'm telling you what to do about it. Okay? 
I'm telling you all the health stuff. I mean, all the mind stuff, right? I'm telling you about God, right? I'm telling you to worship God, to only worship God, not to call him anything else other than God, not to worship anything else other than God. Don't worship anything he touched. Don't worship anything to do with God. Only worship God. Don't worship his son or his daughter or his servant or his wife or anything like that. Only worship God. Only God. Only worship God. I'm going to smoke. So, okay, I'm going to end this. And I hope you have a good night. And, um, God bless. And, yeah. I'm just think serious. It's all serious.